One of the advantages in Europe is that there is a clear policy framework for energy efficiency in buildings, the EPBD, and also the Energy Efficiency Directive, which requires countries now to set up roadmaps for renovating their existing building stock. The question really is, how successfully are they being implemented by the member states? So a key solution to improving the energy performance of buildings really lies with the member states. Then it's the national governments who have to implement ambitious policies and policies that really stimulate investment into energy efficiency for buildings. In the European Union, buildings account for 40% of the total energy use and for 36% of CO2 emissions, representing Europe's largest source of greenhouse gas emissions. Therefore, Increasing the energy performance of the building sector is key to secure a transition to a low carbon economy and achieve the EU's climate and energy objectives. The Global Buildings Performance Network's research shows that with ambitious actions, by 2050 the EU can achieve a substantial reduction in energy use. How can Europe deliver this mitigation potential from buildings? To investigate this topic, the GBPN has recently commissioned the Economist Intelligence Unit to undertake a survey on how companies in the real estate and construction sectors approach energy efficiency investments in Europe. This report from the GBPN network highlights the challenges and opportunities they face and suggests how policies can drive investments in energy efficient buildings. We found from that survey that the industry is ready to invest in deep energy efficiency in the building sector. More than 84% are actually interested in investing in reducing greenhouse gases associated with their businesses and are already taking action to do so. The most exciting conclusion from that survey for me was that the real estate industry is starting to understand that the efficiency level of a building has a real impact on the value of the building. And the real estate industry uh, is recognizing that they need to invest more into improving the energy performance of a building in order to keep or increase the value. Europe is in crisis. New construction rate is down around half a percent per year, which is around half of what it used to be. So of course, the industry is looking for new opportunities and see renovation and deep renovation as a opportunity. We know that the building stock in Europe is in dire need of renovation because 80% uh, of the buildings have been built before 1990. We define it as a, an energy renovation that achieves a 60 to 90% energy saving in a building compared to what it was previously. People don't really appreciate what can be done in the property. They think they've got you know, nice walls, nice windows, they don't need to change them. It's not straightforward, but I think we need to think quite hard about how we can do this more, more effectively than we have so far. We are living in a world where the energy prices go up and down, and therefore we don't have any comfort in making long-term decisions in those areas. What we really need that is to have a long-term framework that is solid. Governments really provide incentives, not just through short-lived subsidy schemes, um, but also, for example, through tax incentives. Tax in incentives work very well. We know that, for example, from, uh, from cars, where people pay higher taxes for highly polluting cars, they tend to switch to more efficient cars. So if you would, for example, have a regulation which combines the tax level for your property with the energy performance of the property, that could be one direct incentive for people to stimulate investments. There's a real need, we think, in uh, the Global Building Performance Network to encourage renovation and uh, we're doing a lot through information provision, uh, data and policy analysis and appraisal. So it's identifying what are the best policies that work. The role of organisations like GBPN is really to keep promoting the measures that have been put in place on a, on a basis of robust data collected and clearly create a culture uh, in terms of energy efficiency in the future. 
the role of the Global Buildings Performance Net and BPIE as the European hub is really a crucial one because there is no other global uh, non-profit organization that is really committed to exchanging best practice in the field of energy performance of buildings to work with policy makers and, and to facilitate and convene that exchange and there is still a lot of need for proactive information exchange, very steered and targeted information exchange and, and bringing people and experts together. And the GBPN can play a, a really crucial role in that by documenting all the good success stories which are happening and which can be found in Europe.